<laughs> what are you doing in here, woman? You've been here forever? I'm just trying to figure out if this regular toilet paper is going to work in our RV. You ever been out RVing and run out of toilet paper? We have. And my little criminal wife once went into the bathrooms at a state park and ripped off some toilet paper in an emergency. Because I'm a loving husband, I haven't reported it yet, and I hope that you don't either. Sometimes you don't have RV toilet paper and you wonder, can regular toilet paper workers are gonna clog you up? And we kind of had decided a while ago that regular toilet paper was a no-no because we have clogged this thing up. We got a whole video on how to unclog it. That was a bad day. That was a bad day. We've done some research and it might be possible to use regular toilet paper in your RV without clogging it. So we're gonna do some tests. We've bought some toilet paper that some of it's RV, some's not, some's one ply, some's two ply. We're gonna do a simple test to see which toilet paper will work in your RV. Scientifically, I put three cups of water in each of these containers and I have the secrets out. Since we're revealing everything right now, um, I haven't been buying RV toilet paper for quite some time. What? I what? I what? I know. Even after I had to unclog that thing? Been a good 10 months probably since I bought it. I've been using bamboo toilet paper. Let me just say, when you say bamboo toilet paper, that conjures up images of things that- Bamboo grows back in a year. A tree takes 10 to 20 years. Well, I've got a really common one. Is This is Camco two ply and which is this is which is rv toilet paper i also have some scott rv one ply and i just got scott regular toilet paper one ply or two it's a one ply scott is all one ply i've heard that scott's kind of one that people have said they could use and then i've got this really nice quilted northern this is like ultra soft so this is going to be this is going to be like you know luxury bathroom time this is seventh generation this doesn't use chlorine to bleach their toilet paper. Did you guys know that people, they use chlorine bleach to dye paper, toilet paper white? So this is so, totally sustainable two ply. I sure hope this one does well because this is typically the one that I've been purchasing for our RV for quite some time. And this is bamboo. I'm an environmental person at heart. Great, she's also vegetarian. Things you didn't know about your wife before you married them. I wish you would have told me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put four sheets in each of these containers, just straight water. And we've seen tests and people do it like with water and with the RV stuff that's supposed to um, disintegrate the paper. And there's not a huge difference. We're just gonna use plain water. Then we have a little scientific lab back here. Put it on a timer. We're gonna let them go each for like five or 10 minutes. If you leave it in water five minutes and then you shake it, and if it's breaking apart, you're probably good. If it's still solid, probably not good. So it's a simple test. Let's see what happens. I want you guys to guess which one's gonna be the most RV friendly. And do you and do you think, post in the comments, do you think non-RV toilet paper is gonna, gonna pass our test? One, two, three, go. Okay, they're all in at the same time. Okay. Just gonna poke them down so they're in the water. We got a little test going back here, a little time lapse, seeing if the paper breaks down at all in the five or ten minutes. We're gonna let it. Let it roll back there. But Leela has some important, important toilet paper information you're not gonna wanna miss. Leela, go. Is septic safe toilet paper safe for an RV? That's a big question. People think septic and RV is the same. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. So it may or may not be. Out of these toilet papers, just so you know, this seventh generation, this, this uh, environmentally friendly stuff, does not say septic safe. The other ones all say septic safe, so it, maybe it's meaningless, I don't know. We'll see how these do in the test. Does one or two ply matter? Yeah, I think you can use two ply in your RV. In fact, we have one ply and two ply RV toilet paper sitting right here, so it exists. The two ply is gonna be more comfortable. I'm guessing the one ply is probably gonna break down a little more, but we'll see in our test if there's any difference. I think the one ply is gonna really break down because I couldn't even barely get it off the roll. So right. the challenge with that is if you can barely get off the roll, you're gonna, instead of using like six sheets or I don't know how many sheets you use, you're gonna use like 10 or 12. So you, what does it matter? One ply or two ply, you're just gonna I've, use more? I don't know. I've never left the restroom only using 10 or 12 sheets in my life. Nobody needs to know. That. So what makes RV toilet paper special, Leela Jones? RV toilet paper is specifically formulated to disintegrate. So it means that it's not gonna clog your pipes and your your bottom line, so. And you're always gonna be safe with the RV stuff. The yeah. other stuff may or may not work. The test, you only need five or 10 minutes. It's been going 16 minutes now. So we're going to just test it. We're gonna do little shakes. And if it broke down, that means it's probably golden. If it didn't break down, not golden, don't use it. You excited? Kind of excited. So far, none of them look like they have broken down even at all. At all. <laughs> and this isn't really simulating real life, it's just kind of a test. Because in real life, it might go down the drain and your black tank and you may not even leave the site. 
in, it might just dump out. So it doesn't get a lot of shaking, but this is just kind of a test. Usually it's gonna be in your septic system for longer than 15 minutes. By the way, you know that you never camp with your black tanks open. Yeah. You always leave them closed because if you leave them open, water goes out and solids pile up and that can clog you. So whenever you're camping, always leave the black tanks closed, only open them to clean them, right? Absolutely. Here's the first one, let's see. Okay, okay good, that's good. And then lift it up there. Okay. Okay, this stuff with a little shake, this stuff is definitely breaking down, you can see, and that is the Scott RV. So Scott RV one ply, that gets a 10. And this oh, is... That camp code, which was... The camp code didn't break down as much. Yeah. I mean, it, if you touch it, it's falling apart some. So this is not quite as good. So a camp code, that I give... That was a two ply as well. Two ply, so that, so the, that stuff's... But that was, it still looks like it's a still tattoo. It'll still pass. Oh, oh dude, well. yeah, that's, that is Scott. Just Scott regular. Look at that, I don't even see, look at this, Scott one ply. That broke down better than anything. Yeah, before. but that stuff, I knew it was going to because I could barely tear the stuff off. It is, this is the one that you're gonna use twice as much toilet. I mean, that works so much better, even better than the, than oh, the, RV, the RV stuff. stuff, I know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this seventh gen stuff. I mean, if you pull it apart, but it didn't break down by itself very well at all. So I give this a, I would say a no on that. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no. Dude. Yeah, Northern. <laughs> yeah. Do not use Northern 2-ply in your <laughs> RV ever. Even though it's, this one was septic safe as yeah. well, so. But septic right. means nothing. Northern 2-ply, yeah. mm -hmm. massive fail for an RV. And I know our shaking is not exactly the same, but you get the idea. Okay, and here we go. This guy, let's see what it is. This is your bamboo. We've been using this in our RV. Are you crazy? This is terrible. But I don't know. But I. This is oh, this stuff is not breaking down. That's terrible. Do not use that. Can I put some RV digest and set it in there for just a few minutes to see if it'll break down with that in there? Sure. You need two ounces for 40 gallons. Okay. So for this, you need like one drop. So this is non-scientific. That's okay. more than enough for that. Oops, and double more than enough. Okay. We'll let that sit for a minute and see if it does anything. The only ones I would put in my RV from now on well, are... We're, we're gonna test the bamboo still. <laughs> Scott one ply for sure. Scott RV, because it is RV. Camco two ply, not as good, but it's probably gonna be fine. But shockingly, well, not really shockingly, the one ply breaks down easier. So if you're really worried about it, this stuff. And like you said, with this one ply, you need like five handfuls of it to get out of right. the restroom. I've reached my scientific conclusion. Yes, no. I still think the bamboo <laughs> is a viable source. <laughs> Because, break down. But it does. If you oh. put when we you we use RV digest in this and it breaks it down. She it's shook really, the and when it's sitting here, it does break it down. Okay, this has not been sitting. She's been shaking the snot out of that. <laughs> Just one. I I did one more. One that was more, it. like one more. <laughs> she called it one more. Wait, wait, wait. I did it kind of like this. That was it. I think that's not that much. And look. Like, and Trevor doesn't think that it's gonna shake that much when we drive. No, over. when you when you drive an RV, it does. It'll do that when it'll you're driving. Do like it doesn't do this ever. Trevor, in a small confined space. It'll do like this. It sloshes around. Right, you didn't do that. <laughs> to see the time that Leela used the wrong <laughs> toilet paper and clogged our toilet, we had to unclog it. Click right down there. <laughs> I don't think that was me. Subscribe, please. <laughs> we can't wait to share our adventure with you.